Today, we're going to explore how to use grounding with Gemini models in Vertex AI on Google Cloud. For a little context and overview, generative AI models like LLMs are great for creating text. But when you ask specific questions, they have a tendency to hallucinate or just make stuff up that may or may not be accurate. By default, most models will do their best to give you a plausible sounding answer based on the data it's been given. For example, let's ask Gemini 1.5 Flash about the next solar eclipse in the United States. Keep in mind, these models are being updated frequently, so these responses might look slightly different if you try it yourself. Now, this was accurate at one point, but the Gemini model doesn't have information about the current date. We can change the prompt slightly and adjust the temperature to zero to get a more relevant and deterministic answer. We can verify this information with a quick Google search or looking at a trusted resource, but it would be easier if this could be done for us so we can have confidence that the generated answer is accurate. There's a few techniques to accomplish this. One of the most popular is Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. What this means is that you retrieve data from some resource, like a database, document, or vector store, and provide the data as context to the LLM prompt to augment the generated output. You could do this yourself by creating vector embeddings of all of your data using the Embeddings API and loading them into Vertex AI Vector Search. Then, when a user asks the LLM for information, you can perform vector matching to find the most semantically similar information in your vector store, then provide that data to the LLM along with the user's question to provide an answer. You can also provide the user a citation to the original data so they can verify if needed. This sounds simple in concept, but it can be complicated to set up. For example, you need to collect and parse the data, then you often need to chunk it up before you embed it. And there's lots of decisions to make about serving, scalability, and reliability of the service. Popular frameworks like Langchain and Llama Index provide convenient tools to fit these parts together and swap them out if needed. But sometimes, it just makes sense to use a managed service. And this is how Google Cloud can help. Vertex AI has a feature called grounding, which performs the rag work behind the scenes. And no, this is not like Coffee Grounds or when you were a kid and your parents took away your video games because you drew on the wall. It's more like building a solid foundation for the model to base its answers on. Now let's see how this works. Currently, there are two supported services for grounding in Gemini, Google Search and Vertex AI Search. Google Search is pretty straightforward. When a question comes in, a Google Search query is made, and then the search results are given to Gemini to help it decide on an answer. This effectively gives Gemini access to knowledge from the entire public internet. In Vertex AI Studio, you just need to flip the switch to enable grounding and select Google Search as the source. Let's try the same question from before. This time, Gemini not only gave us a more specific answer, but it gave us citations for where this information came from. Now that's great and all, but what if you want Gemini to answer questions based on stuff that you can't find on Google, like your company's internal documents or private web pages? This is where Vertex AI Search comes in. Vertex AI Search lets you create custom search engines over your own data, including websites, documents, cloud storage, Google Drive, databases, and third-party connectors. Let's set one of these up and see how it works. We'll create an intranet search engine for a fictional bank called Symbol Bank. First, go to the console and search for Agent Builder. If you haven't used this product before, you can optionally accept the terms and conditions, then continue and activate the API. Once the environment is set up, we'll create a new app and data store. Select Search to create a custom search engine. Select Generic for most use cases. Optionally, you can select Media or Healthcare for use cases related to those industry verticals. Make sure that Enterprise Edition and Advanced LLM features are both checked. We'll give this app a name and provide the name of our company. Next, we'll create a data store to hold our data. I have a Google Cloud storage bucket with a few sample internal documents for our bank. There's some docs about booking business travel, a strategic plan for this fiscal year, and HR docs describing the different jobs available in the company. We'll select Cloud Storage as our source and load the data from the bucket. We'll give a name for this data store. Note the ID that's created for us. We'll need it later. Then we'll select the data store we just created, and we'll create our app. It could take a few minutes to import the data and get ready for use. Vertex AI Search builds out a search widget that can be embedded into any web page. We can test this out in the Preview tab. 
let's ask a question about how to book business travel. We can get an answer made by a fine-tuned version of Gemini, along with citations and the search results listed out. To build a fully managed search engine or take advantage of all the features and customization options, then check out the documentation and examples for Vertex AI Search linked in the description. However, if you mostly want to interact with Gemini and happen to want grounded results from a Vertex AI Search data store, then you'll want to use grounding through Vertex AI. Now let's go back to grounding. We'll use the Vertex AI Python SDK instead of the console this time, but you can do this either way. You can get the code directly from Vertex AI Studio here by clicking the Get Code button, or you can follow along in the notebook linked in the description. We're going to open up the notebook from GitHub and Colab Enterprise. First, we need to install the Vertex AI Python SDK. Then add the project ID. Next, initialize the SDK. We'll import other libraries, initialize the model we'll use, and create a helper function to print out the grounding response. This notebook also shows how to use grounding with Google Search, but we'll skip it since we already did that earlier. Then we'll add our data store ID. Now let's ask what the company culture is like. First, let's make a call to Gemini without grounding just to see what the response would be. Hmm. It doesn't seem to know what company we're talking about, so let's try again with Vertex AI Search grounding enabled. Well, it looks like Simple Bank is a fast-paced, results-oriented company that values collaboration, communication, and teamwork. And we can look at the source doc to see where this information came from. If you need more advanced settings and options for grounding, then you can use Grounded Generation in the Vertex AI Search API. The link to the documentation is in the description. Today, we've learned how to use grounding to connect Gemini to real-world data from Google Search and our own data from Vertex AI Search. Be sure to check out the resources linked in the description to try these features out and see how they can make your generative AI applications more grounded to reality. While you're there, explore the Google Cloud Generative AI GitHub repository. It's full of hundreds of examples, notebooks, and demos that show you how to get the most out of generative AI on Google Cloud. And if you come up with something cool and want to share it with the world, feel free to make a pull request. My team and I maintain this repo, and we're always looking for more use cases to add. We can't wait to see what you come up with.